Okay, so I'm this, I'm Zach Bussey. I'm in fifth year physics, IB physics. Um, Mr. McNeil, room 206, and I'm going to be talking about a thermodynamics problem today that involves using the ideal gas law. The ideal gas law, as many of you probably know, is pressure times volume is equal to the number of moles of gas times the ideal gas constant times the temperature, or PV equals nRT. Now. In the problem, we are giving the following information. So let's talk about it. Oxygen for hospital patients is kept in special tanks where the oxygen has a pressure of 65 atmospheres. All right, so um, storage. All right, so 65 atmospheres. And we're going to be applying this to the pressure in the ideal gas law. So that's 65 atmospheres when storage. And the temperature is 288 Kelvin. So 288 Kelvin. Tanks are stored in a separate room and the oxygen is pumped to the patient's room where it is administered at a pressure of one atmosphere and a temperature of 297 Kelvin. So the patient in the patient's room pressures one atmosphere and the temperature is 297 Kelvins. All right. Um, oh, and the volume of oxygen in the tanks um, um, in the storage room is one cubic meter, which is pretty important here. And the question is, um, what volume um, of oxygen do the um, does the amount of oxygen in the tanks occupy at the conditions of the patient's room? So we don't know um, the volume that the oxygen occupies in the patient room. So let's call that V sub P, V sub patient or whatever, volume. So how do we use this information? So let's well let's just plug this stuff in and see what we get um, for the moment. All right. So we have pressure. So for the for storage, storage, we have 65 atms times volume, one cubic meter. So let's just do meter cube because it's one. Is equal to the number of moles. We don't know what that is. Times the ideal gas constant times the temperature, and the temperature is 288 Kelvin. All right. Now for the patient, the pressure is 1 atm. Let's just put atm here. The volume is unknown. We don't know the volume. And that's also equal to n, the number of moles, times the ideal gas constant, times a different temperature, 297 Kelvin. All right. Now, we're trying to solve for the volume in the patient's room, uh, but in the, in the equation with the volume in the patient's room, we don't know the number of moles, um, and we don't know the volume. So we have two variables in one equation, and we can't solve using that one equation. But the great thing about this problem is that we have two equations that um, have this variable n. So what, how, can, how can we use that? Well, let's isolate n, the number of moles, times r in both equations. So what do we get for s? Well, S, we get NR, S is um, storage, is equal to 65 atms times cubic meters all over um, 288 kelvins. And for the patient, we have, I'm, gonna, I'm running out of room here, just a sec, um, is equal to um, basically VP times, okay, so VP um, times atm all over uh, 297 kelvins. Alright, I'm going to erase this. Okay, so we have NR, just like, so we have NR and NR in both. N is constant in both because the, it doesn't mean that the mass is changing, it's just volume and other um, aspects. So since NR is equal to that in here, and NR is equal to that in this equation, let these two must be equal, right? So let's set, let's set those two equal. Just a sec, I'm going to make a little bit of room here. All right. So, for instance, um, so we're going to have 65 atm cubic meters over 288 kelvin, and this is the NR for the storage room. Is equal to the volume of in the patient's room, or meters cubed, t 
times ATM. I just switched these two around from these two just to make it a little easier to write. Um, over 297 kelvins. So that's our main equation. We only have one variable now, the volume of the gas in the patient's room. When we're solving units on different sides, but they're the same. Meters cubed, however, right? Patient's room over 27 number is equal to 68. To solve for VP, we have we have to um, multiply. Basically, the problem.